there really is nothing worse than watching a form of entertainment that you love and enjoy be killed right in front of you. To see it strangled to death, murdered, without an ounce of sympathy. Whatever the medium might be, we've seen this scenario play itself out quite a few times over the years. From comic books, to television and movies, and don't even get me fucking started on video games. I think this year's E3 paints a very, a very bleak picture of the direction things are going. How bad do I smell? Unless you're into lesbians sniffing each other's farts, in which case, you fucking loved this year's E3. Nevertheless, it seems regardless of the type of entertainment, usually it gets co-opted. A group of minority opinion comes in and changes direction, rips it away from the thing that drew you into it, and casts it in an entirely new way. Now, that experience really does suck, but it's a passive one. Television and movies, comic books, and video games, these are something that you as a consumer purchase. It's a product and an end user. There is no collaboration, you're not a co-creator with it. So imagine how much worse it would be if that form of entertainment was something that you helped to build, if that was something that you were directly involved with. Not a product end-user scenario, it's something that is directly fueled by user contributions. Well, that is exactly what's happening right now with the SCP. Now, SCP, for those of you unaware, is a collaborative writing effort. It's a wiki. It's a, a database of short stories describing entities and objects that are kept under control by a foundation. It's a fictional exercise where people contribute to it and help grow the lore, the mythos, and build up the world surrounding it. And it found its roots back on 4chan, on the X board. Chances are, if you were to look at a few of these, you probably recognize them. Because like anything that gets popular, it eventually spreads out and draws in new people. And as that thing grows and that audience grows with it, new collaborative efforts take root. In the case of SCP, that would be video games, which only led to more of a spotlight put on it because once you get a video game about some niche subject, when the creepypasta thing is really in the full swing back in 2012, 2013, 2014, you're going to get all those LPers on there to do videos talking about it because that was the hot trending topic. And that really kickstarts a new influx of people that are interested in it. But with any mass immigration of new individuals, you're going to get people from different communities with different standards and insights that are just going to fuck it into the dirt. And these sorts of people, they're not going to use Lou. We're talking balls deep, no mercy, violent gangbang. And the person getting fucked is 4chan, the originator of the idea. And their assailants are Tumblr and read it. Now the winds had changed, well they were a blowing back about three years. I think most people though just weren't paying attention. Now on the SCP wiki, aside from entering serious articles, you can enter joke articles. They're just meant to be something done for a laugh. You put a little J suffix on it, put it up, everybody has a chuckle. This isn't something that's canonical, it's not added into the to the main storyline, to the main lore. It's just a bit of fun. It's a little bit of fucking around. And that was the case with SCP-7143-J, a slutty little doorknob. A doorknob so fucking sexually attractive that everybody wanted to get a piece. Now, if this article had been written back in 2008, in 2009, maybe even 2010, most people would have just laughed it off. But that was then, and this is now, or more precisely, this is... 2015. And you can see these people starting to filter in, to infiltrate, to really throw out the absurdity of not finding things funny or taking offense at an obvious joke. And you can see that clearly by reading the comments on the discussion page talking about this joke entry. From Petrograd, edit, and why is this icky? There are three possibilities for this anomaly. Number one, the doorknob is unnaturally attractive, and reams of Site-19 staff are already overt sexual harassers, which, gross. Two, the doorknob compels people to sexually harass it, which, super gross. Three, the doorknob is so attractive that it makes people harass it, which, hi there, victim blaming. Victim blaming a doorknob. From Sir Pudding, I guess we're going to have to have this conversation. My apologies in advance. The language used in the article treats the object as a sexual object, which I get. It's objectifying something that's already an object. Ha ha. But I feel it comes across in a very nudge nudge wink wink, boys will be boys kind of way that seems to imply that it's appropriate. 
to treat actual people who you are attracted to in this fashion. Yes, this is a joke about how people are attracted to people, which, if you're not aware, is still a thing that absolutely happens. People can be attracted to other people and still treat them with respect. They can be attracted to other people in the workplace and still be professional. They can certainly be attracted to people and not assume the person is obligated to anything in return, or accuse them of being a flirt or notoriously scandalous. Nobody is sexually harassing the doorknob. None of these would be appropriate to say about a person without their express consent, and wouldn't be appropriate to say in public at the workplace pretty much ever. That's not even getting into some of the comments in this thread. Anyway, that's why I downvoted. I understand that a large number of you don't agree with me. I don't think you're a bad person for liking it, or that the creator is a bad person for writing it, but I don't personally find it funny. And it does make me a little bit angry, but I'm pretty much angry all the time anyway. Shocker. So don't think that's all that special. Also, do note that my sense of humor was shot off in the war. You need to stop sexually harassing that innocent doorknob. Don't victim blame it. It did not give affirmative consent. Think about them, because I think there's somebody you forgot to ask. From Sir Pudding again. I don't have a problem with fictional characters doing horrible things to other fictional characters. I have a problem with presenting this behavior as harmless amusement. This is amplified by having Clef be the hapless straight man trying to enforce a sexual harassment policy that is totally ineffective. So we have the her her sexual harassment is funny and sexual harassment policy is stupid. If you don't find either of these things to be amusing at all, then what is there here to laugh at? For me, nothing. Verdict? Downvote. Well, I think what Sir Pudding here is forgetting is that doorknob is a fucking slut. I mean, just look at it. It's begging for it. Sir Pudding, it wants it. It's asking for it. So those reactions, the comments that were on the discussion page, were a red flag. A red flag being thrown up in the air, but nobody was there to see it. Nobody, nobody was there to notice that a little bit of a shift was going on. But I wonder if the administration, if the admins and the moderators... I wonder if they're of a, a similar mindset, or I, I would wonder if they weren't so obviously blatant about what they're doing to this fucking wiki. A wiki, might I remind you, that's dedicated to writing short fiction. Because it seems, for the Pride Month, SCP wanted to show its support by putting up a nice pride flag, and then adamantly telling people, if you don't like it, fuck off, we want nothing to do with you. Now, sadly, the SCP Foundation, they uh, blocked me on Twitter for poking them a little bit, having a little bit of a, a laugh at them. And then they immediately protected their tweets. So I have to use archives of what they said or screen caps that other people happen to catch, like this one with a couple of furries talking about how awesome it is that there are now SCPs that turn you into furries. But it's not the retweeting of furries that really got people's attention once they switched up the flag. It was the attitude that the staff had taken with any user or any browser of the website. Maybe having a different opinion or thinking that you should perhaps leave something like Pride Month out of a fictional fucking wiki. Been getting a lot of mentions from some of y'all mad about the SCP participating in Pride Month. While it's true that half our staff and a big chunk of our wiki writers are LGBTQ, it's not just that. The internet is not a kind place to LGBTQ people. The SCP Wiki came from 4chan initially. It came with Chan culture and its toxic baggage. Making the Wiki inclusive was a project by our members that lasted years. But it was worth doing. It was worth making the Wiki a positive creative space. It was worth purging members who stalked and harassed people. It was worth making, following, and implementing anti-harassment policies. It made our writing and editing better. Our community freer. We've made our website free by purging wrongthink. 4chan may have created this, but they're toxic. So let's get rid of them. That's a real Reddit mindset. I wonder where that's come. Oh, wait. The subreddit, of course. How could I have forgotten the fucking subreddit? 120,000 of them. And look at that fucking announcement. For Reddit gold for the based god, DJ Cactus. Now, this is an awfully long statement, and it echoes a lot of what's already been said by their Twitter account, but I'm going to read you the last portion so you can remember how much freer the wiki is now. If you are offended that the SCP Foundation wiki community is celebrating Pride in June, and are offended that you receive downvotes when you express that sentiment, do understand that you will receive no sympathy from the moderator team. We are uninterested and your arguments. We are uninterested 
and the perceived political throat shoving you claim to experience. We cannot untwist your knickers for you, so either find a way to untwist them yourself, or fuck off for a month. Also, for a little bit of added fun and a bit of trivia, that doorknob article that people were freaking out about three years ago was written by DJ Cactus. Weird. But what were some of the comments they were getting from the community? What was the feedback? Threadlocked for calling out forced gay agenda. I want immersion back. And this kind of refusal to communicate and locking a thread for calling out facts is extremely immature. Having a tranny SCP self-insert is one thing, as it's just a single person. But forcing gayness on others is just wrong. I just want a mature conversation about this like an adult. It's on topic. Locking stuff is very immature. And what was the reasonable response from administration? Tranny. Oh, look at that. Thread locked. Keep trying, buddy. An admin quoting a post above them. Lately, I've seen this community kind of fall down. First was the Homestuck Trans Self-Insert SCP and now this. Yeah, the problem is the forcing of agendas in a horror community. Been here for a long time lurking, here and on 4chan, when the place started. By the way, no one cares if you were from 4chan. The old guard of writers on this site from 4chan love the pride thing. Is that right? The old guard of 4chan. The old guard of 4chan that you just tweeted about <laughs> the same day, a day before this, telling everybody that you'd purge them, that they were toxic and hurting your inclusive community. That old guard, the old guard that you outright admitted you got rid of? Stuff like the gay thing up top in the SCP-2721, which is a plain trans self-insert. That SCP is just the author's Tumblr post, are ruining the immersion of this site. No. Thread locked. Well, I know this may be a bit off-tangent, but... Color me interested. I want to know about this tranny self-insert with a Tumblr blog that's into Homestuck. SCP-2721. Why? Well, I don't know what they're what they're talking about here. This looks like a uh, a regular SCP. Let's see here. It's a satellite that's orbiting Luna. Uh, unknown object. Unknown objects. Multiple unknown objects. Oh, and they they identify as trans women. The alien satellites identify as trans women and are fans of Homestuck. And they run a Tumblr blog. The absolute fucking state of this wiki. Let me just pull a few golden quotes out of this. Let's just, let's take a look. It's a lot of blog to go through. Let's just take a look at a few entries to get a, an idea of what this SCP is all about. I just, I try so fucking hard, but I'll never look the way I want to. The way I feel. The way I am. In a way, that precedes all being. God, that does not even make sense. I'm starting to think it's okay, though, even if it doesn't. She's asked me to call her she. She, her, pronouns. She tells me she of the language of the world we monitor. She enjoys it. She told me that she found something worthwhile. She is reading a comic, she says. <laughs> this is, uh, this is fucking absurd. This is a Mary Sue self-insert, obviously. Obviously. That's what this is. An SCP that runs a Tumblr blog talking about transitioning and homestuck. How, how fucking long until we reach this point? When, when are we going to reach this point where that's a header that needs to be included with everything else? When am I going to have to start calling SCP-173 Zer? I wonder how the article went over with the readers. Let's take a look at some of the comments. From Gillyman. I sexually identify as an alien death machine. Ever since I was a boy, I dreamed of orbiting the moon, dropping ontological breakdown on disgusting humans. And a response from the author of the article, do you think that was funny? And from the staff, wrong John Silver, ETA, Gilliman, after staff discussion, consider this an official warning. Posting transphobic memes is completely inappropriate and will not be tolerated. It creates an adversarial environment for members of our community, which directly interferes with the purpose of the site. Please don't do it again. How dare you make a joke on this retarded fucking article about a death satellite wanting to be a trans woman that watches a shitty fucking cartoon. How dare you make a joke? Don't you understand the importance of this? And the author responds again. If you really think your trans misogynistic drivel is somehow less transphobic than an SCP written by two trans women, you're an idiot. Oh, hey, look, Reddit showed up. I don't remember why I ever didn't like this. You can see his transformation taking place in real time. From Mephista, that's what you get from the Tumblr crowd flocking here. Could have been a nice idea, but got bogged down by unnecessary cool stuff. Again, the author responds, Don't comment such stupid shit on my SCPs in the future. 
I'm starting to pick up a, a common theme with the reactions to anybody that has a little bit of pushback against ridiculous shit. Whether it's writing a goofy doorknob story and being told that that's victim blaming and sexually harassing and objectifying an object. Or telling somebody that did a Mary Sue self-insert that their article is shit and making a joke about it. You start to get bombarded by people telling you that that's, that's wrong and that you have no place making those kind of jokes. You get warned by staff. And the recent issue that's been going on with the pride flag really brings that to the forefront. I'm going to read you some comments to give you a better idea of what's going on at this wiki. And I want you to ask yourself, how could something that started off as a 4chan idea devolve into this? From Ghost Chibi, this site is an explicitly inclusive environment. Changing the emblem during Pride Month is an act of explicitly showing support, however small. People who don't support the idea behind Pride Month are not the kind of people who will be a positive influence on the site, and thus they can and most likely will have to leave if they can't keep homophobic and transphobic comments to themselves. From the author of the article about a death satellite becoming a trans woman, in response to another user's comment about thinking this might be a bad idea for the site, this is a lot of words, all to say you think that it's somehow more virtuous to be cowardly, to not take a side. And what is the other side? Not tolerating or accepting LGBT people? That sounds like the other side of ignorance. Moderate neutrality is worse than that ignorance. It's pure cowardice. The great hippo in response to another user. Because in the past, this community has promoted, supported, and even celebrated a culture that was toxic to the LGBT community, and people of color as well. The community has shed a lot of these toxic elements over the years and is now significantly more inclusive. Stuff like the logo helps clarify this both internally and externally. It's basically a way of saying we neither engage nor tolerate that awful shit anymore. Our favorite author once again. Because they're homophobes who think homophobia is a singular act of hatred rather than a set of beliefs and notions that affect everything they do prototype toaster in response, even if they're against it for aesthetic or immersive reasons, our author once again, man, if those two reasons ain't just a way of speaking around homophobia or racism, I don't know what is. From prototype toaster again, what, it's not like people who don't like it don't like minorities or LGBTQ plus people. They don't like a rainbow emblem on a dark red and black background, that's all. People not liking it as an aesthetic doesn't make them a bigot. Our author responds, Sure sounds like a hell of a dog whistle to me. From Decibels, one of the admin. People who are against Pride Month due to displaying homophobic or transphobic views on this site are not welcome here. If a user expresses such views, we can ban them. Thus, hippos correct. And they even follow that up. They actually follow that up by saying that they leave the rules almost intentionally vague to give the moderating team an excuse to ban hammer people they don't like. Just outright saying that. But I think of all the dumb shit these idiots have commented in regards to the Pride Month logo and just the direction of the website was when somebody when somebody brought up as a counterpoint to the Pride flag being on the website, well, why is it just the Pride flag? Why aren't you celebrating other cultural months? Where's our Black History Month? And the admin actually fucking respond. I would gladly switch out the logo for a fitting one for Black History Month every year. That's right. That's right! 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 So just to summarize all of that, SCP and the foundation and the creatures and the events, everything kind of related to it, was a idea that was birthed on the X board on 4chan. People began to kind of flock around it and start to contribute. A wiki was made to put all the posts together. And over time, it went from a fun place to write creative fiction into a hug box for assert people that can't take a fucking joke where any dissenting opinion gets you kicked off and banned where the people that run the website will block you on social media for telling them they're acting like idiots when you make a joke in a comment section about a poorly written article and you're told that it's a transphobic meme and you're put on warning for it when you're part of the toxic culture that created the very fucking site these Tumblrettes and Redditors now infest and are told to leave while they say they have an authority to stay. It's mind-blowing. It's, it's absolutely fucking mind-blowing. I remember SCPs. I remember posts about them. It was a fun fucking thing. 
it was a cool thing to be able to look into if you were into that kind of genre of writing. But goddamned if they are not trying their hardest to fuck this into the dirt. To absolutely just destroy something that they really didn't build. That other people built. That other people came up with the idea for. And then to turn around and tell the originators of that idea that they can fuck off, that they're toxic and no longer welcome. All because people think the flag looks like shit. That it's a, a bad look on the website. Or even going beyond the aesthetic reasons and saying that, why are you infusing this into a, a wiki about creative fiction? What, how does that play into it? It makes no sense. And do the admins or mods uh, listen to that? No, they double down. Because now it's not just going to be Pride Month. It's going to be Black History Month. I bet if you pressure them, like any SJW mindset, if you really fuck with them hard enough, you can get them to celebrate all kinds of crazy shit. That fucking logo is going to be swapped out more times than you can imagine. Just get creative with it. Think of a fucking holiday or a month of celebration and make these assholes acknowledge it. Just, just shit it up. Well, inshallah, chat, and uh, good evening. Put a little video up yesterday. Got a bit of a reaction from the the more uh, inclusivity-minded within the SCP community. So I thought I'd do a little follow-up stream on it. Just an hour or so of the evening. To uh, read over the reaction. Because apparently my, apparently my uh, quote-unquote fan base is toxic and has been brigading uh, their, their sweet, innocent little subreddit. At least that's what I've been reading. And there's a lot of things that I didn't get to cover that I only stumbled on after I put the video up, and holy shit, if I had seen these, I would have put them up immediately. It would have been it would have been in the video. I'm on a bit of a, a timeout on Twitter for making fun of British people and telling them how great America is. So, if I had access to that, I'd be shitposting instead. But since I've been denied, denied my constitutional right to shitpost about retarded shit on the internet. I figured we could do it in live stream form. How's it, uh, how's it going this evening, chat? Let me just double check my audio before we get into this. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. People are saying XXX Tenation is dead. I don't know who the fuck that is. I saw a video of it earlier. <laughs> it looked like he got shot in the fucking face. But I, I don't know who that is. I don't listen to all that hip-hop stuff. I'm one of those 30-year-old boomers. So, you know, that scares us. The hippity-hop is a little bit too much like devil's music. So we tend to stay away from it. But yeah, apparently a guy got shot in the head in his really fancy car. Rip, rip and pepperoni. Maybe they can hold a double funeral for him and boogie together. <laughs> Merging of the worlds. Maybe we could get other LPers to cover their funerals. Could be like a a real life a real life let's play, except the the people are dead. So a real a real dead let's play. Not sure how that would work. <laughs> I don't. I, I'm I'm taking it. We got a lot of Tenacious fans in the chat. They they loving that. Well, I, maybe he was a maestro of music. I have no fucking clue. But let's take a look. Uh, for those of you unfamiliar, I did a video yesterday. Feel free to watch it. If you don't have the time for it, there's a little wiki that's based off some fan fiction writing that originated on X that throughout the years has sort of changed its mentality because 4chan is icky and toxic and they need to be done away with. But luckily, here comes Reddit and Tumblr to the rescue and they're going to save things. And that, that's essentially what the video was about and moderation and administration's uh, attitude 
towards how they run the fucking site. But there were uh, there were a few uh, things I guess that were done for Pride Month on the SCP Wiki that uh, I didn't get to add in. Some beautiful screen caps showing diversity and inclusivity. To give you a real idea of the direction of the site, let me share some of those with you. I think you're gonna like this. We're just gonna we're gonna take a look and read through. Remember, this is a short horror fiction sci-fi-ish wiki. Okay, so think creepy pasta, and when you think creepy pasta. Imagine running into this. So let's put the first image up. Secure contain pride. And I swear to fucking God, my favorite part of this is this pops up on all the images. Inclusion unconditionally. So let's take a look at the SCP Foundation. I didn't come out to anyone but myself until a year after I joined the Foundation. When I already had friends and coworkers and people who knew me. But as soon as I told my supervisors that I was trans, the only questions they asked were what medical needs I had. Because, because we all know the Foundation is known for taking such good care of their fucking staff. Uh, because the Foundation would be covering them in full. Honestly, I wasn't surprised when they told me that. I feel completely comfortable here. And I always have. Agent C. Trouts, Public Protection Officer, Site 42. Female to male transgender. And <laughs> can I do this? Let me see if I can zoom in. Let me see if I can zoom in and show you this this uh, lovely face. Yeah, I think I can. It's just look at that. It looks like they it looks like somebody ripped ass. It looks like somebody literally took a shit in front of this fucking person while they were taking this picture. That face sums up the mom said it's my turn to play look. That's what the that's a look your little brother shows you. When they show up in your fucking room. Again, short horror fiction wiki site. <laughs> but Agent Trouse, the female to male transgender. Very happy that the Foundation is taking care of their uh, their medical needs. Very happy. Oh, but we have more. We have more, obviously. Again, inclusion unconditionally. When I was in school, I felt a little different compared to the other kids. The aspect of sex never appealed to me. And I always thought there had to be more to a relationship than that. Being a Foundation psychologist has helped me come to terms with the fact that there's nothing broken about me. And I am who I am. Dr. Ash W. Psychologist. Site 42. Asexual. Yeah, that's going to keep those uh, anomalies in check. That's going to keep the uh, big bad horrors that lurk the fucking Foundation facilities in check are the asexual and transgendered security and psychology staff. Thank God they're there to protect us from the nightmares that want to tear us apart. No, <laughs> no cater level events are going to happen as long as this bad motherfucker's there. The way I grew up, I didn't have parents to look up to for guidance on these sorts of things. I grew up assuming that being gay was a terrible thing, largely due to other children's use of the word and how they flung it at me. Now with years of experience under my belt, and enough salt to drown 682, I can probably say, I'll do whoever the hell I want. Agent R. Spaulding. Male to female beta 5. Babysitter's site 11. Pansexual, and I don't even know what the fuck this is. Lythromantic? Lythromantic, maybe like lythanthrope? Does this guy want to fuck werewolves? Is that what this is? I'm a pansexual, but I also want to bang werewolves, which is why they won't let me near certain anomalies. Because I keep trying to fuck them. <laughs> that's not Wolf's Bane, that's my cologne. I'm looking for a date. I'm Agent R. Spaulding. This is, uh... <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what the fuck is going on. But again, I mean, this is a community that thinks you need affirmative consent from doorknobs. <laughs> How, how does this happen? How does something that uh, is fun and user-driven, that people take part in, how does it devolve into pure fucking dog shit, taken over by snowflakes and retards that want to insert their sexuality into it? I'm fairly certain the Foundation wouldn't give two flying fucks about what you stick your dick into. And I'm also fairly certain they're not going to cover your medical expenses. They'd rather just put a bullet in you. I mean, that, that's kind of the vibe I get from it. But maybe I'm just not inclusive-minded enough to understand the direction that they're heading. 
but um, I, <laughs> people send me caps. Again, I can't, uh, I can't post on Twitter, but I can read on Twitter. So if you have any interesting SCP entries, uh, send them to me at we was Medicare, and I will read them on stream. But some of the things that I've been sent that I wanted to share with you was the Reddit, uh, the subreddit's reaction to the video. <laughs> uh, I'll just put a cap up uh, that somebody sent me. Give you an idea of what's going on over there. Apparently, apparently, uh, the exclusive inclusivity doesn't apply to uh, making posts on their subreddit. Uh, all those posts getting locked, getting shut down, keys being turned. Nobody's getting through that, fuckers. Padlock shut, sealed. And <laughs> all the fucking deleted comments. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Just shut it down. Just end it. No discussion here. No discussion here. And I, I am going to go back into that. Again, because one of the points of the video was really talking about the administrator and the moderator's approach to their fucking community. And I got some choice quotes from people that uh, are administrators on the SCP Wiki. I, th I think really helps shine a light on this. But uh, we, we got a few super chats here. Let me be a, a little money whore and read some of these. And we'll, we'll move on to the entertaining bits. Uh, Coolator, the SCP Foundation paid for my eight weeks of administrative leave after I touched those kids. Thanks, SCP, for being pedo-positive. Dr. Allballs Jerkenstein. Or Jerkenstein, I'm sorry, Rabbi. I'm, I mispronounced your name. I'll check that privilege. Larry Bernard, do you remember when people used to be people and not become one of several identities to be bought and sold by major corporations? Now, that's a long-lost memory. I don't think that happens anymore. Xenophag Uprising, you over, uh, you never answered my super chat for E3. What is the best new Vegas faction? If you're not the Legion, get the fuck out of here. Michael Shaw, how did the average creepypasta and grimdark stuff get co-opted by people like this? They're trying the same shit in 40k. Why do these joyless, confused land whales feel the need to ruin everything that's fun? Uh, you know, I, I could put a few theories out to that. I mean, you could go the political route and talk about cultural Marxism. But I think at the end of the day, women ruin everything they kind of touch. And I think when women see that men are interested in a hobby, that means they're not getting attention. So here come all those women, especially from Tumblr and from Reddit. And they just need to, they need to tear it apart. Because if you don't have something you have joy in, if you don't have something you really are truly happy with, then you have to pay attention to them. That, that would be a guess, I suppose. Jessica Eustace, Tumblr on artistic creativity, my feelings, shut it down. Artistic creativity, meant to make you feel emotions as an artist, fuck these guns and censoring people's works, it's literal fascism at play. Make them cry, Jim. Well, Jessica, these are... <laughs> these are unique individuals. I mean, you saw the security staff. You saw the psychologist. Lots of pan-gendered ponykins running around the facility at the foundation. No fucking wonder there are so many containment breaches. These people are too busy trying to figure out who they want to date or not date instead of watching <laughs> watching security cameras and following proper procedures. That's why all these SCPs keep breaking out. These confused motherfuckers can't get laid. They've got too many, too many special things to navigate. The dead air hour. Fuck SCP, we have a Space Force now. Launch SJWs into the sun. Uh, good luck with that. A typical SJW weighs at least four metric tons. Try to get enough of them onto a rocket to make it cost-effective to shoot them into the sun. We'll probably bankrupt the nation. But I admire the effort. Cola Dante, male or MTF in the context of SCP... Okay, yeah. I, I misread that. I was just used to, after the second line, it being like, this is the kind of snowflake I am. So I just immediately went to male to female. But yes, mobile task force. My bad. Arizona Raspberry. I know I've said this before, but so many women make the rest of us look bad. They do, Arizona. Uh, they do. But usually it's the really ugly fucking women and the really, really super heavy set women. The bitter women, the cat ladies. The kind of women that you wouldn't hang out with. The kind of women that other women don't like are the kind of women that want to speak for all women. Or in this case, ruin something that's a creative uh, writing Wikipedia, such as SCP. Gray Fox 37 a light throw is someone who loves people in theory. You know, those high school betas that love you from afar. Are you fucking kidding me? I like my explanation better. I think this guy just wants to fuck werewolves. 
Can we just, can we stick with that? He just wants to fuck werewolves? I think that's the way to go. Okay, and I'll, I'll read some more Super Chats in a bit here. Let's take a look. <laughs> Let's take a look at their subreddit. Just to get a feel for the reaction that's been going on. Let me just cue this up here. I'll start with, uh, I'll start with one that I think really fits the fucking theme. Make sure I've got the right window open. There we go. Hopefully that's going to display properly. Just move that over there. All right. The amount of toxicity here is disheartening. This was submitted uh, nine hours ago by Dr. Gersh. Good morning. I've known the SCP Foundation since 2009. I grew up with the website. I was 11 in 2009. Things are starting to make more sense, aren't they? I even took some time to read Clef's archives in the Wanderer's Library. I strongly recommend both of them, so you can understand my love for the website. I stopped reading the website at the beginning of 2018, having much work to do, and the website being one of the most time-consuming things ever. And I just went back uh, being on my vacation. Holy dot dot dot. I've never seen so much toxicity linked to the website. Yes, that includes the fishmonger case. People screaming SJW here and there, astroturfing, dislike bombing, etc. What the hell are people thinking? This is just an admittedly ugly logo. What the hell is with all these people saying, yes, but the Foundation wouldn't? We don't give a fuck about what the Foundation does or doesn't for the main look of the website. The website isn't in-universe, and any website needs a logo anyway. By the same logic, every April Fool's Day is canon in-universe. Remember the sexual containment procedure? Not that it would bother me. The stories were glorious, especially Clef's comeback. Holy fuck, that was awesome. And finally, I thought that in 2018, the current year, people would understand that LGBTQ things don't have to be political. Really, this makes me quite sad. And uh, there's an edit. To all the people saying that bans were just or unjustified, read the comments. If anything, I would blame the mod for not banning enough people. The sheer amount of mental gymnastics some people are doing here to justify their homophobia is astounding. Well, let's go read some of that just terrible homophobia. I'm sure, I'm sure it's just very toxic in the comments on a fucking subreddit. Uh, this is from Modern Erasmus. The majority of the community on site and on here agrees with you based on past discussions on the subject. What's happening now is that we're being brigaded by a fan base of a YouTuber who posted a poorly researched attack video about us yesterday. At the end of the day, it's just a little logo that you see for only half a second before you scroll down to read the text. It'll be gone soon anyway. Just, uh, <laughs> the majority... Okay, here's the thing. I've read a lot of their comments on their dumb little subreddit, and they like to try to make it seem like poorly researched. I want to give you, you want to hear a fucking statement from an administrator on the, the wiki, from their official Tumblr blog. This was posted back on the, the 13th or the 14th of this month, so this is before the video. Let's, uh, let's go race. You tell me what this statement seems to say to you. Look at their, their beautiful little Tumblr blog. Uh, here we go. I am not a damned monk, or I'm not a damned monkey. Reminder to the SCP fi er, fandom, if you don't support LGBTQIA+, you're not an SCP fan. I mean, I don't make the rules. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. So if you are homophobic, transphobic, commit by erasure, believe that ace people are not part of the community, or any of the other bullshit, well, SCP is not for you. Bye! And uh, again, just so, uh, where is it here? Yeah, this is a follow-up comment to that. OP is a site administrator. So that's not some random fucking thing. This is their official Tumblr blog linked to their fucking wiki. Stating outright, you better support it. Because if you, if you don't, you're not a fan. You're not a fan of the SCP. Hmm. That seems like a, a pretty blunt fucking statement to me. But no, 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 clearly... Clearly, this is a poorly researched video. No. Uh, <laughs> commit by erasure? What is by erasure? What the fuck does that even mean? And what is believe ace people are not part of the community? 
Is ace some other sexual designation I'm unfucking familiar with? But these are the people. These are the people running the fucking thing now. Uh, half the staff identifies as it. Half the staff is uh, is deeply ingrained in the community. They're, they're fucking tumble about it. Jesus, trying to go through this Tumblr. They're like 800 fucking posts a day. Yeah, the LGBTQ LMNOP plus A. If you're not if you're not down with it, you're not a fan. So don't don't tell me that um, there's not some political shoehorning going on here. That there's not a, a message being crammed down your throat. Maybe you just want to go to a fucking wiki to read some short horror fiction. Maybe you don't give two flying fucks about what Pride Month it is this month. And you know, it, it makes me wonder. Maybe there aren't a lot of. Uh, colored people on the staff because I haven't seen a Black History Month logo for their shit. So I guess it's just a bunch of suburbanite rich white kids that have found their uh, trending topic for the uh, the year and are really just grasping onto it. But no, no, they're being brigaded by a poorly researched video. I don't know. Seems pretty fucking blatant to me. If you're not, If you're not for it, you're against it and you're gone. You're part of that toxic culture that needs to be done away with. Who cares if you can write well? Who cares if you can come up with a good idea? Who cares that this wasn't something we created? We just co-opted and took for ourselves. And now we're going to get rid of the people that actually, you know, were behind the idea. Just just take it over and shit right in your face when you have a problem with it. That's beautiful. Welcome to the internet. Read a few more of these chats here. From VeggieBad. I think the reason why SCP is getting co-opted by these SJWs are these Tumblrettes, lacking any sort of writing talent. So they have to resort to pull the social justice card to get good boy points to justify it. That's not a bad theory. I mean, you could, I suppose, take a look at all the accounts that are vomiting up this bullshit. And then just see their posting history and see if they've actually ever contributed. Or if they just like to run around and police other people. And, you know... <laughs> dictate uh, what's acceptable or what isn't. Daily Freak Slenderman. Slender, sir, sir. Respect it, shitload. Wasn't Slenderman an SA creation? I'm, I'm fairly certain something awful came up with that. And I'm sure Lotex loves that uh, part of that legacy is little preteen girls stabbing each other in the stomach because some goon came up with a fucking fiction for the website. Uh, thank you, Trevor. Uh, looks like, I'm not sure if you forgot your message there. Uh, Wyatt Timble, the tyranny of the talent list. That, that's probably what's going on here. Again, it's people that can't do it, dictating to people that can do it, how they should do it. Because, you know, fuck having fun or enjoying yourself. You need to, you need to get in line. You need to watch it. <laughs> From Nerdman, SCP equals... Snowflake clown prints. Well, no. See, you couldn't... Uh, actually, let me double-check that. Make sure I got the right... Oh, clown posse. Yes. I, if you said prints, I was going to say that's too gendered. I don't think they'd go for that. Karambi. I'm moving to Portland, Oregon soon. Well, good luck to you. <laughs> Any advice on dealing with the hipsters and liberals there? Uh, no, they will... <laughs> they will absorb you and make you part of them. In a year's time, you're going to be wearing short shorts. And just talking about how great things are in the liberated, in the liberated state of Oregon. Augusto Pinochet. I wish I was alive to throw these fags from helicopter. Well, again, I don't think you could heft them up. You'd need a crane to, to huck them out. But this is that toxicity they're talking about. Terrible toxicity that just can't be allowed on a, a wiki about short horror fiction. <laughs> the absolute state of the fucking internet. Let's uh let's read some more reactions from these people. And then I thought we'd take a look at uh SCP-2721. The death sat the alien death satellites connected by an umbilical cord that identify as trans women and run, run a Tumblr blog. That's <laughs> well, I don't know what the fuck is going on anymore. Uh is that the right one? Yeah, that's the right one. Oh, these comments. I'm disheartened, too. I was applauding the moderation for its firm stance for LGBT people over the last few days. But I just had to read the sad news on how this played out and had to say my goodbye. 
How can you reason if you can even say this? I wonder what they're saying. Oh, yeah, they're talking about toxicity. <laughs> yeah, it's just, uh, I was 11 when I came to it, and it's just too toxic. We need to, they need to ban more people. That's what they're actually, this asshole, that's what he's saying. He's upset they're not banning more people. The mods need to get rid of more people. There's too much wrong think allowed here. And I don't even think he's talking just about their fucking subreddit. I mean, it's their subreddit. They can do whatever they want with it. But I think he's talking about the fucking wiki. Need to get rid of these people. What, what am I going to do if I hear an opinion I can't handle? I'll just, I'll fucking melt. Here's another one. My opinion on the current drama from Delaney. Honestly, I support the LGBT people, or T people. <laughs> I can't, there's this acronym. Fucking hell. I'm just going to say the gays. Honestly, I support the gays every way I can, but don't drag politics into something that doesn't really need that. This is a fictional universe about containing threats to humanity. Putting a rainbow flag on the logo might give the wrong sort of message. Some might even think this could mean something like LGB the gay people are a threat to humanity like SCPs, which <laughs> may cause unnecessary drama. Well, I didn't even take it as that, but that's a good interpretation. Is that really what they're saying? Are these... Have I been wrong? Are these all super hardcore alt-writers that want to contain and protect society from the gay menace? The video Medicar made was just a report in an entertaining way. I'm pretty sure this is an anti-LGBT, and I'm also pretty sure that he is an alt-right. I've watched enough of his videos to know that. Don't believe this, man. If anybody from that subreddit is, is watching this, Delaney is actually my second in command in the Fourth Reich. That's what we're calling it. It's a super hardcore alt-right organization. You don't have to just read Siege. You need to have it tattooed on your back. The whole fucking thing. To even get in. This man is covered in anti-Semitism. He's just trying to trick you. Uh, SCP should remain apolitical. I agree. So do I, by the way. I do agree. Just let the fictional wiki be a fictional wiki. It's obvious that the administrators and the moderators have a personal preference for the shit that they want to push. And it makes, it doesn't matter, it, it could be any stance, just keep it the fuck off of it. And stop with the you're toxic, you need to go away shit. Ban it, lock it, dismiss it, censor it. You're, you're, it's a fucking creative writing project. What are you doing? Uh, lucky for you, the gays, community are human and deserve human rights is a completely apolitical statement. Or at least it should be. Oh, it looks like we've got an argument taking place. Oh, shut the fuck up, dude. That was never the fucking issue, and you know it. Did you even watch the video? He points out the fact that the moderation team is full of assholes. They are, by the way. Who don't give a shit about the quality of content admitted to the site. They only care about pushing an agenda. Harmless jokes with no bad intent are shut down due to the hurt fifis. Uh, let's go take a look at their... These were the, um... <laughs> these were the closed, uh... Oh, my God. There's so much shut... Yeah, these were the ones that they locked down. Because apparently people posted this shit on their subreddit. And uh, and that's where it goes. Uh, it, yeah, this is their original statement as to why they locked it down. The video simply collects complaints that have already been stated. That That's what they say. While people are screaming about how badly they want to fuck doorknobs. In the comments. Uh, what is this? Considering several of our most frequent commenters got downvote bombed. Opinions that got highly upvoted on all threads on this topic got burned, and vice versa. A dude spamming sl <laughs> a dude spamming slurs all throughout the thread got upvoted. One of our OG authors, who this video incorrectly claims to support, got downvote bombed. Yes, this is a raid a brigade caused by the video. It'll likely down or die down soon. That doesn't represent the <laughs> user base of this sub or the wider fandom. And yet, I I I'm looking over here... These look like normal fucking users to me that seem to disagree with them, but apparently I'm wrong. Apparently, apparently these are all terrible people coming to brigade, to brigade this innocent, didn't do nothing subreddit. Oh, oh, the horror. Oh, Paul, these poor Redditors, how will they ever leave, live with fucking opinions that don't align to the shit that they think? Oh, what are they going to do? Heaven forbid. Uh, Jim's black boyfriend. Oh, hello. It's nice to see you again. Uh, what is it with LGBT and claiming to be inclusive and asking to accept them, but if you challenge them, they ignore you? 
I have no fucking idea. I, I don't... I, I, yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even think that uh, LGBT people were the ones that said, let's have a Pride Month. I think this is a pet project from the administrators and the moderators, and they just shoved it down the throat of fucking anybody. Which, I, I guess, is kind of a twofold thing. It pisses off the normal people who just browse the website. Uh, the normal user base, whether they're gay or straight, it wouldn't even fucking matter. They just want it to be apolitical. And even the activist types, you know, the ones outside the norm, the ones that want to fight for causes, probably probably never brought it up. I don't think this is on the top of anybody's fucking list for making the world a more equal place. We need to have a gay ra a gay rainbow up on the SCP wiki. It's just fucking weird. Uh, from Noah Berthif. Berthifel? I can't. I, I've lost my ability to speak. I've, I've become too diverse. I can't handle it. So should the trolls try to out-tumblr the mods, or should they just put up as much crap until mods put their emotional labor vacation notice? I, I don't know the state of this fucking community. It just annoys me that something that started with the idea of anonymous contributions or people with a kind of a, 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 a certain mindset contributing to this and building it up have been usurped and replaced by people that try to say, that anybody that originally had a hand in it or the place that it originated from are toxic and need to be done away with. It's so fucking blatant. You see this co-opting shit take place, but I've never really seen it so blatantly done. It kind of almost reminds me of, there's a video clip from when Occupy Wall Street was really, really kind of reaching the crescendo of what it was going to do. You know, the attention that it was getting. Where all these people gathered together to talk about, fuck the corporations, man, you know, that shit. But it was the people with actual economic grievances that had some bullet points that they wanted to talk about. And there's a video clip of them all kind of standing around, ready to say their piece, right? Ready to talk about what their actual issues are. And this chick gets up with a microphone and tells them, um, we have, she explains what a privilege stack is, and then tells them that all the white men and all the straight people need to fuck off because they're only going to let uh, minorities speak, women speak, the disabled speak, and there's actually an order in which they can speak. So, like, if you're a black woman, you'd go before a black man. But if you're a disabled black woman, you'd go in front of her. And if you hit the lottery and you're a gay, disabled black woman, like, you get front and center on the fucking stage. And it doesn't matter if your points are retarded. That's the that's a progressive stack. That's a privileged stack. So, I mean, it, there are very few examples of where it's kind of done right in your face. That would be one of them. Uh, and this this feels like another. This feels like something where the fucking staff just want to get rid of anybody that disagrees with them. And I've had a lot of people message me and say that it's not just related to this. Like, if you don't toe the fucking line, they, they just they shit on you, or they ban you for stupid reasons, or they make it uh, difficult to do anything on this fucking wiki or be a part of it. Iron Wolf, uh, Iron Wolf Spear. Will there ever be a third Kang video? Also fan of a fan from New York City, it's more dangerous for me as a Latino Trump supporter than these furries, Antifa fags, any advice? <laughs> uh, buy a fur coat, and then they'll think that you're one of them. You don't have to get a fur suit, just buy a fur coat. And then, you know, from a distance, they'll think that you're going to, like, Anthrocon and leave you the fuck alone. That would be my advice. Blend into your surroundings. Uh, just Darty. Why are they upset over a doorknob being harassed when there is literally an SCP-231 about raping kids? Try to make S <laughs> SCP-PC is like herding cats. There you go. Uh, Curtis D. The Progressive Stack. That's what it was called. Yeah, you know what? Uh, give me a second. Let me see if I can find this video. Because I, I think if you see what I'm talking about and how fucking ridiculous is it, <laughs> it is, it uh, it really, really helps us uh, kind of shine a spotlight on the type of people that I'm talking about. If YouTube will abide, let's let's see if it will. No, that that came out all wrong. Let's try this. Occupy Wall Street. Uh, I think this might be it. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to pop this up on screen. Give me one second. Okay. Well, how, how am I going to do this? I think I should be able to do a window display. Yeah, there we go. See if I can open that a little more. 
Hopefully that's showing up for you guys. Uh, I'll check in a second. I'm just going to let it play if this is the right one. If it's not, I'll, I'll cut it off and then we'll find the proper one. What I have to do here, I just want pe some people to be aware of, of what's going on, is that they do things by a consensus, um, which means everyone, everyone gets to, to be heard. Um, and the way people speak at their general assemblies is there are facilitators that keep a stack, which means a list of people who would like to speak. In New York, in New York they use something called a progressive stack, which means if you have your name on a list and you come from a traditionally marginalized background, um, race, gender, ethnicity, um, anything that is traditionally marginalized, you get bumped up the list. Um, so this means, um... Look at these fucking retards. I, I can't remember what it is. It's some comedy cheerleader movie, but there's something called like uh, jazz hands. That's the, the magic fingers. That's what they're doing. Remember, clapping is rape to SJWs. I forgot about that. So they wiggle their fingers to agree and then hoot. Ooh, that's great. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Magic fingers. Magic fingers. They keep a list of a progressive stack. Yeah, this is from 2011, I think it said. So, this, this fucking shit, man. We want to be able to hear what everyone has to say. Also, one of the things stressed at Occupy Wall Street is the step up, step back. This means people who have been privileged all their lives, um, mainly white men, white women even, people who have been privileged, need to realize that they need to step up and step back if they've already said what they had to say. Isn't this supposed to be an egalitarian movement? Um. Did you see the, I, I, hopefully the audio is coming through. It's kind of low. There's not much I can do to boost it. Uh, but after she explains, you need to step up and step back. If you're an evil, icky white person, shut the fuck up and back off. That's basically what she told them. Uh, somebody actually, the, probably the one confused, honest guy that's there because he thought this was about, you know, fuck the banks and fuck the government, says, isn't this an egalitarian movement? And did you see the look of confusion spread across her face and she, everybody starts looking around? Probably for a dictionary because they don't know what that word means. But let's see what the answer he gets is. Yeah, I think it doesn't matter whether you know what what their general background is because you know the majority of us are already you know part of the marginalized class of people so it wouldn't matter because more people who are under that marginalized group would get to speak anyways and and i think a, a, what <laughs> Alright, something we need to identify on with that. Um, when we talk about privilege, we're talking about access to institutional power. Okay? The things that come Again, the audio is kind of bad on this, but the the guy basically says, Well, aren't aren't we all here because we think we're getting uh, shit on in an economic sense? Wouldn't that all make us marginalized? Aren't we equal when we're airing out our grievances? And the the response he gets from the dude that just jumped up is he starts explaining what privilege is, about how it's about institutional power. Wrong your skin color, your sex, your class, okay? And these are things you need to be aware of. That you have privilege over other people at different levels. Or you may have less privilege than other people, um, depending on who you are. Yes, we may, we may all be marginalized, but some of us are far more marginalized than others. And we need to be respectful of that. We're all marginalized, but some are more marginalized than others. Ugh, oh, I'm getting animal farm vibes from this shit. We're all equal, but some are more equal than others. Uh, yeah, so there you go. That's an example. I don't really get into the SJW shit anymore. Uh, but the SCP stuff kind of caught me off guard. And it's this kind of mindset uh, that seems to be, it seems to be permeating uh, the group at the moment. That, that very mentality that you saw in that video, that, that kind of attitude, that kind of uh, take on things, on how things are going. And I, <laughs> holy shit, that's old. I cannot believe I could... Is that right on the date on that? God damn. Yeah, 2011. Seven fucking years ago. I remember watching YouTube clips about this. 
while it was still ongoing, while it was really happening, and thinking, and thinking they were so confused because they didn't have like a solid talking point. Oh fucking, that's right. They sent two representatives on to, uh, was it the Colbert Report or the Daily Show? No, Stephen Colbert interviewed them. Occupy Wall Street had its big moment. It was going to tell mainstream America why all these people were marching. What's really going on? And they brought some agendered, dumpy-looking art student who comes on there and says she's female-bodied and her name is Ketchup. And I remember watching that live and I thought, they're dead. That's it. That They're done. No mainstream person in America is going to listen to somebody who calls himself Ketchup and identifies as female-bodied talk about the economic situation in the country. <laughs> There's the, that was the worst person to pick for PR. That's when they shot themselves right in the fucking foot. But again, you know, it, it just shows you anything can be taken over. Any fucking, anything at all can be just snatched up from under you. So the SCP thing has been a little, it's been brewing a little longer, but it seems to be happening sort of the same way. I don't know if any of these people identify as the, you know, as a person named Ketchup, but maybe. Uh, from the Iron Pill. Traditionally marginalized because whites just don't fucking matter. White people are icky. Killer Queen. Jim, heard of these pretenders. They pretend to be amputees by using prosthetic limbs. And check them out sometime. I do know that there was a woman, uh, there was an article actually written about this. That she had a, like a, a disability fetish. Where she wanted to have her limbs amputated. Because she, she just, she identified as a disabled person. And I call it a fetish because I think that's what it was. But no, no, she was explaining that just like transracial and transgender people exist, she was transabled. And to be her true self, they needed to cut her fucking legs off. And I'm fairly certain she did. There was another one that did it with her eyes. She wanted to be blind. Like, that was her, that was the hotness for this chick. Like, just gouge him out. Rip my fucking eyes out because I am a, I identify as a blind person. That's one of those decisions you probably wake up from later on and think, have I made a mistake? Yeah, probably. I probably made a fucking mistake. A uh, bullet 25, where's mustard? Mustard, uh, you know, too masculine. Starts with an M. Couldn't have him go on there. Needed to get ketchup instead. I like how next up is your own stream. Yeah, they're officially linked together. Now every time somebody watches this, this dumb Occupy Richmond progressive stack conversation, they're going to see something about uh, the LGB SCP and not know what the fuck is going on. Uh, get leveled. So the SCP mod support pedophilia confirmed with the 231 or 213 SCP. I don't know. We could take a look at it. We'll take a look. You know, in fact, let's do that. I, I'm going to throw up uh, SCP-2721 and we're going to look over the article just to give you a, an idea of uh, the Homestuck fan loving alien entity asteroid satellite thing that hangs out around Luna that just loves to write Tumblr blogs. Let's uh, let's take a look at the great creative work that's going on on this fucking wiki at this point. Hopefully that's all nice and focused. You can look it up yourself. It's SCP-2721. Uh, Euclid class object. Uh, talking about its anomalous properties. We'll, we'll skip all that. We'll, we'll get down to see where we can SCP-2721 liar consists of a fluxing flesh-like substance which is covered in what appears to be ocular protrusions. While constantly fluxing, a few characteristics can be determined through its affectation of Luna's gravitational field, including mass redacted. 2721 Lord is a wedge-shaped entity with cilia-like objects containing redacted. So, just big ass, fleshy... Ah, this feels like... um. Feels like a ripoff of, uh, oh, what was it? Uh, it's a manga, or a horror manga about a planet that comes. It starts with an R. It starts with an R. It's a giant planet that's like toxic and fleshy. Uh, but instead of eating worlds, this one um, wants to live as a, a transsexual woman. Oh, here we go. SCP-2721 Liar presents itself on its blog as a trans woman artist. And blogs exclusively, oh god, they actually put this in, exclusively about social justice issues. Its content and webcomic, Homestuck, it has maintained a large group of acquaintances on the website and is well known for its Homestuck theories, drawings, and discussions. 
2721 Lord maintains both a primary aesthetic blog and a secondary blog in which it talks about its feelings regarding Liar. Oh, oh, okay. Let, I'll, we'll go more in depth with this just awful shit. My about. My name is Lyris, and I sometimes like to draw. You've probably seen my Homestuck stuff. But if you're here after reading some discourse post I wrote, I'm sorry to say that you're going to be dis or you're going to arrive in a world of disappointment. I mostly just flail around here posting my bad Homestuck theories and talking to friends. I think that that's uh oh an art. I do art too, I guess. I'd like you to uh, I'd like you to <laughs> wow, this is a lot of uh okay. I'd like you to tag for triphobia, socophobia, homophobia, transmisogyny alien abductions, and any mention or imagery associated with childbirth or menstruation. Sorry, it's for dysphoria reasons, and I'm not grossed out or a, or a misanthrope, I promise. Just, what in the fuck is this? Oh, there's more, please, uh, okay, good. <laughs> Thank God, JavaScript's not working. Oh. I was in a bad place before Homestuck. Again, this is a giant e this is a giant alien satellite entity made of eyeballs and flesh that now identifies as a transsexual human. I was in a bad place before Homestuck. I mean, not like I'm in a bad place now. You know, could have been worse. Everything tasted the same. Everything was the same. I couldn't, you know, enjoy anything at a level that was real. Everything was just skimming the surface. I could never get down to the core of anything or understand anything. Just see. Just watch. Just wait for someone else or something else to do something. I felt... Sad's a shitty way to put it. Joyless? Ellie couldn't even make me feel anything. I'm not even sure I could feel anything before I realized I was a woman. Maybe finally opening up myself to this allowed me to finally feel. I've heard a lot about people going on HRT and, like, crying a lot. I always hear people talking about being on estradol for a while, causing them to just, you know, cry for no reason. Just some tears. I don't know. I guess I can't physically transition, giving my issues. But I feel like the kind of mental transition I've done is something similar. I can cry again. I can laugh again. I'm talking about the sort of shit when I talk about it being hard to distinguish between getting into Homestuck and realizing I was a lady. They're so fucking intertwined. They both gave me an awakening that just kind of, I don't know, came from each other? Birthed each other, I guess. I don't know. I'm bad at metaphors sometimes. Ah ha 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 ha! Holy shit! Well, I can confirm that even though this is a fictional entry on the SCP wiki, that Homestuck very much does you... <laughs> Homestuck very much will make you become a woman. If you are into the Homestuck fandom. It's only a hop, skip, and a jump away from taking HRT and wearing a dress. This alien satellite entity is correct about that. And then this is the other, the other entity, the other satellite, talking about learning to use, learning to use pronouns. And it's so stilted. I don't understand. It, it's really weird reading. She has asked me to call her she, she her pronouns. She tells me, she of the language of the world we monitor. She enjoys it. She told me that she has found something worthwhile. She is reading a comic. She says. Could you could you shove she in there anymore? Aside from the 38 fucking times that it fit in that first opening paragraph? <laughs> she has asked me to call her Lyris. We had never had names. I have fixed her before. She has fixed me before. We were broken then. She tells me we are not broken now. She tells me that she is happy. The alien satellite entity now identifies as a trans woman named Lyris. And if you use the designated name that it had before, you're dead naming it. What the fuck am I reading? Oh, oh if somebody wants to uh, send me the, the... Is it 231? Let me, you know, let me, let me dig through here. Let me see if I can find it. <laughs> Go take a look at this shit. Uh, just give me give me one second here. I will, I will bring it up. Two thirty one. I think that's what they said. Uh, 
actually while I wait for that, I'll hit a few more, a few more super chats here. Uh, Bastio 34, will there be a series on the MRAs? Yes, there will. I've just been caught up in other dumb stuff, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm planning on doing that. MRAs, incels, all of that. Volk, uh, Colpertrian. The LGBT, po <laughs> LGBT population is used and abused as a shield for horrible people to do horrible things. SJWs have assaulted a trans friend of mine for years. Yeah, I, I wouldn't surprise me. Again, it's this mindset. It's just, it's, it's the Tumblr mindset. It's kind of weird, you know, I stopped doing Tumblrism, so I'm not used to seeing it, and I don't really do uh, SJW shit anymore. So it's one of those things that I haven't been paying attention to. It's a bit of a blast from a past. Uh, Rocket Insano, are we sure this isn't an elaborate joke about how fucking strange the internet is? Like, is the Flesh Satellite trying to take over the wiki? Uh, you know, maybe the Flesh Satellite arrived when it heard about the trials and tribulations of the sexy doorknob being assaulted by staff members. But, you know, it, again, it's kind of weird, right? Because the doorknob was getting raped, basically, constantly by staff members that were just so horny they couldn't take it. But we saw the staff members. I thought they were all, you know, attracted to werewolves and asexual and stuff. So do we need to use the sexy doorknob to unfuck their minds? Is that, is that how this works? Uh, Brandon Mefford, the lovely folks at X are attempting to rebirth what SCP originally stood for via RCP authority. So if you're looking for that old SCP feel, check out RCP authority. Uh, best of luck. Just <laughs> try to keep an uh, eye on things better this time, and don't let Tumblr and Reddit just fuck it up. Uh, kill code 102, it's a retarded elder thing, huh? What the fuck? Also, when do we get points where being white cis male straight e is banned? Uh, that, that, that happens everywhere. Jacob Maynard, seeing this happening to SCP, I want to die, Jim. Uh, yep, enjoy the, uh, the, the sadness of it. As something that you probably enjoyed for years or you knew about from a long time ago is just, just turned into dog shit. John Hammett. Will you be covering glitched puppet moral Evie stuff in the future? Pedophilia confirmed, bestiality confirmed, child grooming confirmed, and standard SJW bullshit they are trying to crawl back as if nothing happened. I am completely unaware of anything that you just talked about, uh, but feel free to, uh, I guess, send it to me or send me a starting point. Uh, you can do that on Twitter. Just, uh, just send me the info and I'll take a look because I'm out of the loop on that one. Regenic Wolf, I pray for the day that an asteroid Apophis strikes Earth in 2036. Astronomers say that it is unlikely, but I pray. The best part is that if, I, if it does strike the Earth, it'll hit the West Coast and kill all you fucking degenerates. By the way, Jim, your videos have made me a nihilist now. Yeah, welcome to the, uh, what is it, the black pill. There, there is no hope, right? That's, that's uh, the mindset uh, I apparently have. That's what I'm told, at least. I just, uh, there's ridiculous shit on the internet that I like to laugh at, and for whatever reason, half the time, it's, it's a reoccurring cast of characters that are behind the stupidity. Hey, you know, for a while it was the SJW stuff, and then it kind of moved into the really weird degenerate shit, um, <laughs> with certain fandoms doing fucked up stuff. It does make you lose a little bit of faith in humanity. Hussar H. Fight back against leftist encroachment. Fight back against them. Join Patriot Front, bloodandsoil.org. It's a little advertisement, I suppose, from Hussar. The one and only Mario Man. Hey, Jim, just wondering if you plan on doing another DSP video now that he has depression. No, I don't. Um, I did the DSP thing about the chick that was catfishing him because it was funny that for once he was innocent and he, he didn't fall for it and it was obvious what was going on. Uh, but I, if you want a really great DSP video that sums him up and is a, a nice watch, Go check out Down the Rabbit Hole. Uh, Frederick Knudsen did it better than I could do it, and there's no reason to go over the same thing. Uh, Lin Wu, SJW is in quality content mix like lard and water. Uh, very true. Very, very fucking true. Uh, there's a message retracted. I don't know what happened there. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can find this SCP now. I can get rid of the progressive stack video from Occupy Richmond. It's a little blast from the past there. Uh, 
Ah, uh, there we go. The manga you're thinking of is Hellstar Ramina. That is what I'm thinking of. That that's what popped into my mind when I was reading the discuss or er, the description of 2721. Granted, there's no long tongue coming out of it, but that you talk about like a giant living entity in space, it's planetoid, and fucking with things around it. And I thought, okay, Ramina, that's what it is. A doorknob needs protection too. Apparently, apparently that's very true. Slutty doorknobs just asking for it. <laughs> Somebody, Lithromantic, also known as Akiriromantic or Apromantic, is a romantic orientation on the aromantic spec. There's a spectrum for aromance. Okay. Somebody who is Lithromantic can feel romance attraction towards others and also joy being in ro uh, romantic relationships, but only in theory. So, okay, that sounds like just a forever alone. Is that is that what we're talking about? Is that really a fancy word for forever alone? It's like, I could be happy if I met somebody that could stand me, but nobody's ever going to be able to stand me. But theoretically, it could happen. <laughs> is this, are SJWs creating new fucking terminology for shit that 4chan's been joking about and the internet's been joking about for 10 years? But they need to give it some fancy new fucking terminology? They just can't say forever alone or neat or shit like that. They've got to, they've got to create a fucking spectrum to place it on? Is that the direction we're going in? Uh, from Katherga, this trans stuff really gets to me because the social pressure being exerted on researchers by supposedly kind and caring people is killing trans people. They need treatment, not reinforcement. Uh, well, feel free to, well, I was going to say feel free to tell the SCP wiki people that, but they will ban your ass for even, even going there. Uh, Sakation? Sakchan. I, I'm not sure how we're pronouncing this. Hey, Jim, I loved your That Guy with the Glasses series. Would love more internet anthropology along those lines. Keep up the great work. I'm uh, glad you liked it, but I, I don't have any plans on doing a series like that again. At least not for a long time. Okay, Mox Asylums weren't all that bad, is all I'm saying. A lot of people should be committed for their good of the rest of society. <laughs> These are the toxic co uh, comments that they're being brigaded with. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm just. That's uh, somebody sent me their own original uh, OC SCP. Very nicely done, Mr. Blue Sky. That's uh, that's quite the thing. Okay, so I, we, yeah, like I said, it was it was a short stream. I just wanted to show some of the goofy shit that I missed for the video and to show a bit of the reaction. I made a video talking about something. It wasn't an attempt to brigade your precious subreddit. Uh, I never directed people. I never pointed at you and said, go get them. And the, the only thing I said in that entire video was at the end, where I said that you're probably so up your own ass with this progressive shit that they could pressure you into celebrating the dumbest of fucking holidays by just simply, simply demanding it. I mean, you're already talking about doing a Black History Month. Every month is going to have a new fucking logo now because you can't just let it be a short story horror fiction wiki. You have to make it about some fucking weird shit, whatever it is, that you personally view as a pet project. And then you ban people, and you censor them, and you make statements like, again, from your fucking official Tumblr account. If you don't support the LGBTQIA+, you're not a fan, or you're not an SCP fan. Hey, how about this? Uh, how about fuck you? How about I'm an SCP fan if I enjoy the fucking shit that people have contributed? How about I'm a fan because I like the writing? How about I'm a fan because I find the ideas interesting? How about my fandom with this has jack and all shit to do with your personal political bullshit? And maybe you shouldn't be going around making grandiose statements about something you didn't build, asshole. You fucking Redditor. Going around dictating to people if they can be a fan or not of something when you jumped on after it started? Fuck off. I mean, I don't make the rules. Oh, wait, yes, I do. So fucking arrogant. It's always the same. It's always this arrogant, pissy little attitude with fucks like this. There's a kids in the hall sketch that sums up assholes like this almost er, perfectly. It's about some dude that works in an office. And uh, he gets promoted to, like, some middling position. So he's like some paper pusher, and he gets just a little bit of power. And he get, it's, I think it's called drunk with moderate power, where he's just screaming at people. And talking about how many paper clips they can have. 
for no other reason than he, than, that he has the authority now to do that. I hate that attitude. It's a fucking wiki. It's a fucking idea for short horror fiction, sci-fi shit. Stop making it more than that. Just let people... Ugh, fuck, I can't stand people like this. Getting a little... Getting a little aggravated with these people. Uh, Mills... Uh, Mickook, or Mickmook. Check out what they supposedly won't ban you for in the site rules. Respectful disagreement with staff decisions. Having an unpopular op or opinion. Actually, that's bullshit. In the video when I was looking through their forum posts and the discussions and on their discussion pages, one of the administrators outright stated that they left the, uh, the rules vague intentionally so that staff could ban you for any reason they wanted to. They intentionally left the rules vague so they could ban you whenever they felt like it. They openly fucking state that. There's a screen cap of it. It follows directly after their previous statement talking about how if you disagree with this shit, you need to be uh, eliminated. Or purged. Uh, Reganic Wolf, how much have you made from Super Chat, though? I, I have no idea. I'm not keeping a running tally while we're doing this. I'm just getting uh, I'm getting a little salty at their stupid fucking Tumblr. Brendan Stillner, can I screw that sexy doorknob? You know it's asking for it. That doorknob, the doorknob wants it. It wouldn't be wearing what it's wearing as it walks down that dark alley if it didn't want it. Uh, Aiden, hey Jim, could you send alerts before you live stream so I could give you money? Love, pay piggy. Uh, that I don't know how you send alerts about live streaming. I, I mean, I think if a decent amount of people saw that it was that it was popping up, I, I don't even know. Let me see what the view count is. Uh, give me one second while I struggle. Grandpa's got to get technology to work for him here. He's all confused with this internet shit. Thirty-year-old boomer, huh? Uh, where are we going? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it's a fairly good amount, and, you know. I will try to set up some kind of fucking alert system, I guess, so people know when live streams are going on. I would have posted on Twitter, but again, I've been put in time out for telling British people that they're cucked. <laughs> the absolute state of Europe. Uh, the Wee Snake. Honestly, it's crazy to see these days SJWs have kind of become a punchline from what I've seen. Yeah, yeah, that, that's kind of why I stopped covering it. They're the ass end of every joke at this point. Uh, Volks Koilo Prechen. I, I know I'm butchering people's names. Remember SJW equals incels. Deny that uh, deny that out trans people have conditional cis privilege. Valerie Kreef is the trans feminist against SJWs. She can tell you how this works. Oh, there. What, what was the fucking term that I saw a lot of people dropping like a year or two ago? Uh, trying to describe a certain segment of the population that they thought... Were, were these fucking uh, trans trender where it was like the hot new fucking thing to jump onto so everybody wants to be a tranny now to get uh, oppression points I'll have to look it up I don't know I'm kind of out of the loop Izzy Barrel any chance for the X-Files videos to make a comeback I, I, I did six of them I mean I covered the main stuff that I like I just really you know it, <laughs> I just wanted to make fun of the succubus threads because it was like every you couldn't go on the board for a while without like three fucking threads about somebody wanting to su uh, summon a succubus. Some lonely fat retard. Can't get a date. So he's like, how can I force a demon to fuck me? And it's always the same thing. They tell him, go buy 48 candles. Go buy 48 candles, tie a string around your dick, and spin in a circle for half the night. And then and then she'll come and, and uh, you know, electric fuck you. <laughs> and it's just like, you can't read that thread that many times and not be like, come on. It's enough. Enough. All right. Uh, well, thank you for coming out. Like I said, I just wanted to cover some of this stuff. Let me, you know, I'm going to throw up these ridiculous, stupid pictures again. I'll read the rest of the Super Chats. And then, um, and then there's that. Oh, where is it here? Where's, where's the fucking one? There we go. There, oh, oh, it's all out of, it's all out of, it's all out of focus. Just size that perfectly. Mom said it's my turn to play. God, that face. Almost there. Grandpa's getting it. There we are. Secure, contain, pride. Again, inclusi <laughs> inclusion unconditionally. Like, how do you make this? And not the... Like, it has to strike you. This is retarded. I, and, it, like, it's so fucking dumb. Why would you make this? 
Why would you make these pictures and spread them? It's begging to be made fun of. Oh, it's... Oh, Jesus. What in the fuck? Okay, let me let me pull up the super chats. I'll hit the ones that I missed, and then um, and then we'll all have a, a nice evening. Hopefully, the uh, the alternatives that X are making uh, actually come to fruition. We get some entertaining stuff. Get something uh, that people can use without getting fucking banned immediately. All right. Uh, from YouTube. Oh wait, is that? Make sure I got the right picture up. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's the right one. Beautiful. From YouTube official Riley Paul Woods had sex with a transgender at Mardi Gras. Well, thank you, YouTube official, for the hottest updates. Skylar DeBeer, bring your chubby China doll on the stream. Oh, I can't do that. I have an exclusive contract with Pornhub. We all know how those streams go when she pops up. Uncreative a deconstructionism. I love you, my nibba. That's right. Oh, that's right. Dindu, <laughs> Dindu Electric Boogaloo, I can call Corrine to help you with alerts. She knows the owner of TTS. You know, fuck, I, I'm going to end up needing to do another stream on Ice Beside, and I hear there's a whole shitstorm going on with his community right now. A whole, a whole metric fuck ton of uh, people getting real angry at him for a whole bunch of different stuff. But I haven't, I haven't really been paying attention, so I'm a bit behind the loop on that one as well. So much interesting shit going on. Display name, you hate Skype. Uh, no, no, Skype is wonderful. <laughs> it's such, yeah, what a great service that is. Uh, Mio Ho, love, love for all boy lovers, girl lovers. Well, that's a very brave statement to make, Mio Ho, or Mia Hayo. Um, I'm going to guess, is that an SCP that I haven't come across? Rabbi Herschel Lieberman Berg Blastein. Patriot Front are Yankee fags who love the Jews. Apparently the rabbi is not pleased with that particular group. Yosemite Sam Tenacious, or I don't know how to pronounce this fucking guy's name. Is it XXX Tenacious or Tenacious XXX? Is dead. We just keep winning. Mega. Brandon Stillner, can I screw? Oh, I already read this one. Uh, let's see, alert. Uh, Jessica Eustace, Knutson also made an SCP video about its history. I think he talked about a lot of, or a lot about, the upheaval from the owners. Most left over the site getting that way. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, that's another good one. If you want to go watch another video about SCP and its history, I suppose, uh, down the rabbit hole, the guy that did that, Knutson, apparently has a video up on it. Feel free to check that out. Rando number nine, uh, RIP SCP-2453, XXX to Nation. He finally broke containment for the final time. Uh, Karambi, off to Oregon. Pray for me, chat. Godspeed. Good, good luck. Good luck and Godspeed. Uncreative deconstructionism. I just wanted to donate to support you. Are you the best? Thank you. Vicious kisses. Is. The SCP Foundation has been infected with a deadly outbreak known as the gay. For so long we tried to contain it. Time to join the chaos insurgency. It's the only way to fight back. Iron Wolf Spear. What do you think about the Purge prequel and its trailer showing Make America Purge Again? Should we take the leftist advice as well as stab the SCP? I, I don't. I, I haven't watched any of the fucking Purge movies aside from, like, the first one, and I haven't even seen the trailer. But I'll check it out and see how terrible it is. They, they're they starting to feel like Asylum films at this point. Uh, Tick Tesla 97 Jim, let me have your babies. <laughs> I, don't think, uh, I don't think Jade would like that too much. Old Livers Rivers, the world's lost a future astronaut today. So sad. Terrible. Rip. Leader of the Lost Souls, can't we just hack the site and kick the SJWs out? Uh, I have no idea who runs the site or who owns it. I just know that the administrators and moderators currently in charge seem to have a stick up their ass. Comedy seems to be a dead concept to them. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It sounds like there are two alternatives popping up, Chaos Insurgency and the RCP Authority. So hopefully they're good. And people contribute to them, come up with creative shit, and it just it, it brings back the feel of what it used to be without all this ridiculous crap. Fatal Oath, teach Occupy Millennials how to grill brothers. Or <laughs> grill brothers, HH. Hey Dan, this might be off topic, but Jim, do you have any good relationship tips or advice? Why do all women nag? P.S. Love your work, keep it up. I have no relationship advice for you. If you're asking a stranger on the internet for relationship advice, no advice they give you is going to be sufficient. 
uh, consider hiring a hooker. Izzy Barrel, any chance for the X-Files video? Okay, I read that one, sorry. Liquid Water 27, the RC, or RPC Authority says, or says hi. Uh, hello back at you. Uh, I'm just making sure I've got the ones that I missed here. Five Hundo, transploitation, sci-fi horror, short fiction is so important to so many. Think of all the lives being affected here. Jesus Christ, Jim. Think of the children. I know, it's it's terrible. From Nerdbane, just a quick reminder. Fuck Movie Bob. Is he still alive? I thought he was dead. I thought Boogie outlived Movie Bob. I guess I'm wrong. Uh, Coin La Dante, there was one SCP in the Little Misters series. Like the doorknob, but not a joke and not a doorknob. It was a woman. She got struggle, sn <laughs> struggle snuggled? It's a cute way of putting it. Grayson, that was gay and awful writing. Welcome to the new shit, Grayson. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Hussar H, fight back against further leftist encroachment. Fight back. Okay. Oh, I've already read this one. Uh, a gas hoff. This is to be a 24 hour op. No, sadly, it's not. These people are serious. Kill Code 102. It's a retarded elder thing. I read that one. Oh, here we go. Scott Decker. Jim's a faggot. We got him now, boys. Uh, Bastosio, 34. Oh, I read yours, too. Uh, yeah, I read some of these intermittently, so I'm just trying to hit the ones that I missed. Jacob Maynard, seeing this happening to SCP, you want to die. Yep, join the club. This is a, a Russian username, so I'm just going to call it Russian. Uh, the Russian says, SCP is pathetic. Tear it down, Jim. Austin Howell, have a tenor for bringing this degeneracy to my attention. Much love from England. I don't know, now that you've donated $10 to this stream, you've probably been put on a watch list for the terrible things that I've said. Hopefully you don't get beaten to death with a spork as the police come and nicely ask you to come to jail. VAWBC Carry, 51 people dislike the stream already. Must be everyone from SCP. Lol. Rando number nine, Trump is creating the Space Force to deal with the SCP menace. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Midnight Sparkle, the woman who blinded herself pisses me off beyond all hell as a disabled person with poor eyesight. That's insulting. Yeah, there are fucked up people out there that uh, just fetishize it, and I just don't get it, man. There, there was a time all around the world, not just in America, where if you said crazy shit to somebody, they would say, you're fucking crazy. But now we've reached the point where cra crazy motherfuckers, we need to be inclusive, and we need to pretend that it's normal. So if you meet some Bat shit insane person that tells you, I am really, uh, I'm, I'm transracial, transgender, trans disabled. I need my doctor to blind me and cut my legs off so I can be the real me. Instead of saying, you probably should be, a, you know, in an institution or on some kind of medication or seeing a, a shrink. Instead, we have to say, how very brave for you. Oh, you're such a, a shining example, a stunning and brave. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Asian Hollands, hey Jim, I'm not autistic enough to donate to your Patreon, so here's the donation. Finding a way around it. Yeah, I like it very much. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, the guy that said the glitch puppet Marl Evy stuff? Uh, I just saw the, the chat again. Uh, yeah, I don't know anything about that, so if you get a chance, could you, or somebody who's familiar with it, just send me something over at Twitter so I can look into it. Because uh, it sounds like a, a wild fucking thing. Gentlemen, bystander. Funny part is, people bring these lunatics... Oh, what is it? Funny part is, people think these lunatics are the problem, and not the people who are commanding them. We have to fight the lunatics. Right, Sergen? Rando number nine. Rip, XXX, Tenation. Everybody's very fucked up over this guy's death today. Griffin Cost. SCP, Secure Cuck Project. Uh, and the username's an eyeball, so I'm not sure how I'd go about pronouncing that one. I wouldn't have even minded if it was just a rainbow flag on the front page, but it's a goddamn black people are gay too, get over it flag. You're calling uh, you're calling that's not political. Yeah, that, that is true. I forgot to mention this. It's not just a rainbow flag. It's a rainbow black and brown flag, which I, I guess somebody told me meant some kind of weird intersectionality, which when you start talking intersectionality about fucking anything, it's just, it's new speak for uh, snowflake. Inxus, uh, I know that sounds vague, but thank you for being the voice for us, my dude. I think, have I gone back far enough? What am I missing here? Lucas Toth, this is the result of NeoGAF's destruction. No, I'm fairly certain they've all gone to a new shitty website. Uh, the ones that left, and that's, okay, what the name, well, I can't remember what the name of it is, but it's extra bad. Rocket Insano, alt-writers, I love that. 
And there's Jim's Black Boyfriend. Remember reading that one? Uh, Veggie Bad, read that one. Oh, I need a better system for keeping track of these things. Solar Sinua, I have a feeling the SCP staff are lying to these degenerates and are actually using them as test subjects. They're playing 14-dimensional interplan er, interplanetary backgammon. They were the foundational along. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mobile crusader in my country there's a problem and that problem is the Jew they take everybody money and they never give it back throw, <laughs> throw the Jew down the well so my country can be free sounds much better in musical form Mame Lord Gord the principle still applies whatever isn't explicitly right wing and aggressively so will eventually be taken over by the left Kiernak, my brother put me on you back when you were shitting on Sandra Lee. It's like it, no, he never died as I watch your streams and videos. Keep doing God's work, Jim. Uh, from what I understand, she's still getting drunk and does not know how to bake a cake to save her life, even though it's been like a decade. Okay. Uh, from NaX300, buy yourself a nice pack of filtered camels. I will do that. Curtis D, grab them by the knob sluts. <laughs> that one works. Michael Shaw, how did the average creepypasta... Okay, all right, I think I've I backed up enough. I apologize, I've lost myself. I got I got flustered at their stupid fucking shit that they put up on their Tumblr, and I've, I've just fucked it all up. All right, let me make sure I haven't missed any new ones, and then we'll call it an evening. Breakdance Express, missed mine, Jim, or Jumbo. I caught you now. New Age Culture, it's pronounced extension. Mental dichotomy. Have some shekels for the awesome kids in the Halls reference. I miss good comedy. Yeah, it's been a while since decent comedy has been around. Neon Ghoul, there's an SCP that says pedos are pure humans with multiple limbs and go after children to make them pure. Like them, i.e. make them more of their numbers, Jim. <laughs> okay. Cult Revolver, hey Jim, what do you think of Pride Month? I think having a month to celebrate anything is pretty much fucking pushing it. I, I, uh, maybe I'd give you an hour? I mean, you want a month of my time for something, it better be something fucking worthwhile. How about, uh, how about a, you know, instead of Memorial Day or something like that, how about we have a Memorial Month? I'd rather celebrate people that bled and died for me and for the freedoms I have than celebrate somebody's gender identity. That's where I'd start with that conversation. For Boydus, one, relationship advice, don't let Asian girlfriends make tacos. Very true. On creative deconstructionism, one more for good luck. Please say, that's right. I pig, there's no, uh, there's, there is so much SCP porn and it's only growing. Porpoise time, it's XXX Tentacion. Okay, well, now I've phonetically pronounced it. The clouds pass by, keep up the good work, sweetie Jim. Anderson Paladin, just pause my eldritch alien whores up, fam. Bandit, first donation, just wanted to say I love your streams, glad you enjoy them. Gas station, I, hi, I'm a gas station, I like your stream. Did you know they added a K to the end of? LGBTQQICAPF2KQ. Thank you for reading. Sincerely. Rob Poe. Or sincerely, Gas Station. Rob Poe, what's up? Uh, who's up to create an alternative SCP site? It's probably only going to take a week to get more support than the official site. Uh, from what I understand, multiple people are doing that. So hopefully one catches everybody's attention and they can all focus on that. Or there are multiple alternatives and they all do well. Ghost Pokemon, I will never abandon Skype. Uh, take that, Millennials. Bartimew 5, secure, contain, pride is the cringiest fucking shit I've ever fucking seen. Welcome to the club. Ryan, am I a degenerate? I don't know. If you stand in front of a mirror, are you dressed in a fursuit? If you stand, if you stand in front of a mirror, uh, are you looking at something that most people would laugh at? It's probably a good place to start when asking one of those self-reflective questions. The Orange Cow. Jim, are you going to make any kind of announcement before putting content out on other platforms that you were talking about? Yes, I will. Orgris Den. X is dead and there is no replacing it. F to R.I.P. Vokan Do Dinuk. Mom said it's my turn to ban the haters. Moo Cow. Previously, you've threatened to abandon Mr. Medicare once it develops too many subs. Damn it, Jim. I need your ranty bants. Much love, amigo. Don't leave too soon. Kiernak, how much... Uh, what... <laughs> How much would I have to pay you to take Agent Trouse to Pound Town? Not happening. Kenshin891 Transtrender. Hi, Tumblr. I identify as star gender. My pronouns are shine, shines, shine self, tee hee. Rando number nine. Jim, uh, be a good goy and join UKIP. Also, RIP XXX Tentation. YouTube official. Up. Oh, uh, okay, okay. We've, we've looped back around, I believe. Yes, we have. All right. If I missed anybody, I, I apologize. Again, 
Ah, got a little heated, a little bit salty. At their stupid fucking... That's the dumb shit that they do. Alright, I'll, I'll lead, uh, read these last five and then uh, I'm going to end the stream here. Let's see what we got. Rob Pro off topic. What are your thoughts on the change the channel drama now that it's blown over? I, it, it seems like the death nail of that shit. I don't know what these people are going to do after that, but um, it just, uh, it really kind of imploded, didn't it? Uh, Nemesis Raccoon, read my older Super Chat Man or I will end myself. Well, you should have put what the message was in the newer one so I'd know what to look for. Elderly queer gentleman, Jimmy Boy, you making American spirit money now, level up. Steven Stromboli, leave uh, leave me alone, Lex. And Breakdance Express, how many suburban daddy damage does it take to attain a ruin goddamn everything fetish? <laughs> I don't know. That's a very good on-point question. Something that the moderator should know. And then finally from Johnny Flynn, the gays have paused up SCP. Alrighty. Yeah, these, these fucking images are ridiculous. Look at them. Just... Why would you need to announce to people you're asexual? If you have no interest in sex, why are you telling anybody that? It should be a non-issue. It's like something you don't talk about. Hi, I'm asexual is the most unimportant statement you could ever make in your life. You put no stock in sex, so why are you even drawing attention to it? Unless you're an attention whore. And a lithromanthi, or lithromantic, or I fucking don't know. The guy wants to fuck werewolves. Let's just leave it at that. He wants to bang the shit out of werewolves. He can say otherwise, but we know. You fucking know. All right, chat. Uh, hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, it's a bit of a short one, but like I said, I just wanted to cover some of the shit that uh, I missed previously because, god damn it, if I had these fucking images, they would have been front and center in the video. You all have a good Monday. Hopefully the RCP authority, I believe it was, and the chaos insur er, insurgency uh, do well and people contribute and build them up. All right.